WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 63, NASDAQ up 7, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract down $5.90, trading at 1680 an ounce. We have silver down 49 cents, $18.99 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $2.09 pennies at 87.25 notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, trading up 11 ticks at 111.15. The 30-year up 16 at 125.05 and king dollar. King dollar is up 113 ticks, 113, 337. The euro is at 96. The yen is uh, trading out here at uh, bingo. Where are you? 146, and the British pound is at 110 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the markets. Yeah, we go from the Fed minutes, folks, and the PPI this morning to guess what? The CPI tomorrow, and this, the market's just going to lay here. So it looks like you're going to get another contraction. All right, yesterday we did. 92 million on the spy. You're not going to do that today. We had a low yesterday that was established out there at the 355. We got the 356.30. Uh, bottom line, you know, it has to hold price, and it's not holding price either. It has light volume, but it's not holding price. We go into the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of setup. Um, you know, you're up there at 34 cents right now. You've done 39 million shares. But these both are good. You know, they need juice. That's the bottom line. 269 would be the number that the Q's got to get inside to get some juice going. So let's get over to the dollar because the dollar, uh, bottom line, you know, been f going back and forth out here today, hasn't had much movement. And, you know, you're coming into the initial downdraft. The downdraft, that's when we came off the top at 114 to 112. Uh, if we do go over to the bonds, the bonds look to me like they're going to pop. Meaning, you know, they want to go higher on a counter trend bounce. If the bonds go higher, the dollar's going to go lower, and uh, bottom line, the market would have a little breathing room out here. So, yeah, you can see today you only did uh, 1.2 million contracts. You know, it rejected lower price. We got down to the 110.30, and you know that's anemic volume. And you're going against how we came off the lows two weeks ago, and you have monster volume. You're going against 2.9 million. Uh, what we had done yesterday, you know, you didn't get down there, but you did 1.6. You know, today, bottom line, you're going sideways and there's not much juice out there. So what I expect we're going to see is that, once again, you're going to basically wait for the CPI tomorrow morning. That's how this is shaking out. Dow uh, up 56, NASDAQ up 4, S&P's down 2.5. Come right back.